so so territory nine, nineteen ninety five, part six. The curse of Michael Myers survived out. One of the worst films in the franchise. It's not the worst, but it's one of the worst films I've probably seen. Okay, the film takes place six years after the events of the fifth film. And James Ward's characters go off in, in the opening uh, act of the film. And also, this is the last film to have Donald presence as he had died earlier in a year before this movie came out. Now, um, the reason this is one of the worst films is because it strictly goes, I guess, it's still supernatural. And you know, Michael Myers is always this this being who couldn't be stopped. And they brought in, like, a cult. And, um, you know, something about him uh, being affected by a thorn. And not only that, uh, Jimmy Ward is pregnant with Michael Myers' child. That's a messed up way to in- introduce, you know, something like that into a franchise like this. And this movie just poorly received. Now, if you want to call this movie canon to all the series, it's the final saw me in the franchise that'll wrap up, you know, the whole story between films one through six, if you want to look at, at a timeline perspective. Now, I hate this movie. I think it's terrible. It's terrible acting, um, terrible direction. And um, this film is, could have been a lot better for what it was, but it's not. It's not like the worst film all time in the franchise. It's just, it's still pretty bad. But there's a worse film coming up that I'm going to view. And um, I feel like it could have been something big with this film. And you know, this film just never delivers. At least not in my opinion. Okay, I'm giving this film a 5 out of 10. This film's pretty mediocre. Um,. It's not a film I would highly recommend if you want uh, you know, if you want to watch the whole Halloween franchise, by all means necessary, skip this film. You don't need to watch it to uh, understand the whole entire story. You can skip this movie and just go on to Halloween, like, you know, H2O. But one thing I want to say is that they never got rid of Lori Stroll, you know, after Halloween. Um, two, I think, you know, her character could have been in parts four through six, and you still could have told a compelling, a compelling story, you know, between, you know, films four through six. And that's my review of Halloween 6, The Curse of Mount Myers. Now, coming up is my review of one of my personal favorites, Halloween H2O. I mean, you know, brings back Jamie Lee Curtis. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Halloween 6? Do you like this movie? Do you hate it? What do you think overall where it lands in the franchise? And now, um, speaking of which, I didn't bring this up in my review earlier, but Daniel Harris should have been brought back, at least for the final installment, to this film itself, completely run out of character and began in this movie. Anyway... This is Slim God 172 saying, peace out.